So this is a cell S A L L and uh, the decimal is zero. Okay. And uh, you can type this here, the label. Any 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 cell any cell a u a space shift e. Salary, and uh, this major is nominal data. It's major. Nominal. We have a uh, ordinal. No, oh, this is scale. Okay. Then let's type the position. 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 Type here the second column. Position. P O S I T I O. Okay, it's numerical, numerical, and uh, this is zero. Okay, type label, label. <coughs> working position, but O R K I N G. Working position. Sometimes we use abbreviation, but we uh, nobody know what's the exact meaning, so they can read the label. Okay, and uh, you need to define define the value. Right? Thank you. Type one stand for inside one label step inside S I D A then two stand for outside A okay and then you need to find this this then you say no it's a numerical data actually it's not you cannot calculate it's nominal data okay nominal <coughs> it's calculated then yeah, it's famous e x p r i e n c my keyboard has some problem this keyboard is okay. i e n c Numerical zero and uh, here working experiments one step for low L O W easy okay. Three stand for high. <coughs> okay. Then here label label. Working experiments. Working experiments. Major is nominal. It's not scale. Alright, capture. Nominal mm -hmm. because capture. Okay, go to the data view. No? Okay. Who is PhD here? Mm -hmm. There are <coughs> two techniques called two city in the world. Are you? Are you? No, no. You are PhD here. Which department? Finance. What number we should have? Here. Can you go to the Excel? Okay, this is one. So there are 21. And there are, so we, that's why we copy this way. Okay, we copy this way. Okay, now we go to the SPSS. Tell me. What's the number we have? We have a one one, one one one. Okay, so we will have a different combination. One 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 two one three two one two 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 three. Okay, the first the position, the first twenty observation, we have one of them. One one one. Yeah. Okay. This time. Got 
dia tuh one sampai dia tuh berapa ya? 60 Okay, the rest you don't need time, it's just copy, okay, copy. So the copy, copy the first 40, 40 of the machine. The same, it's same, okay? Paste. Then go to the 81 here. Okay. Copy, paste. Okay, then come here. The position, the, the experiments. So, go to the Excel. The first column is one. How many one? How many you want? 60. 20. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. 40. There are four. So there are 40. Okay, 41, 40. There are 42. There are 43. So you you got all the combination. Okay. This two are no one. You can copy every 10, so you just paste 3, okay, so there are 40. It is easy, you don't need to have 40 times. <coughs> then 3. Okay. So you, you should have this concept, okay, we have 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, so we have a different, okay. Okay, what? Uh, what's your name? Party? Party? Like. What I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? We have a... How many variables we have in this case? Three. How many independent variables? How many independent variables? Three. Three. Independent variables. Three. Three. Which two? Okay, yeah, that's correct. How many dependent variables we have? Right? And this is the num numerical data. This is, no, this is numerical data, but it's just uh, simple. Okay, you can now, you know, I see some stupid equations here. They, they calculate the, the average of a man and a woman. One stands for man, male, two stand for female in his or her data. And he show the average of sex or gender. Does that make sense? Can you calculate? Can you? That's just a percentage. You can just you just show the percentage of male and the female in your data set. You cannot cal calculate the number. The number that doesn't mean anything. It's just it's a symbol, okay? So what our hypothesis? What's our hypothesis in this case? H11 H11 equal H12 H equal H12 You are interested in for factor A is the position inside and outside so you are interested in the mu the non say the mu of inside and the outside this is the, the population the whole population this is the sample how many inside data we have Six. Sixty. Okay. Sixty. Twenty, 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 we have. How many outside we have? Sixty. Sixty. How many low, low experience we have? Forty. Forty. So total is one twenty. Okay. We are going to look at this way. Okay. Back a different there are two level. And the other one we are interested in factor B. No, autonomous hypothesis say uh, they are not equal. This one is the same. Yeah. 
if you have more than two, three, more than two, okay, the, the atom I just say, I say equal one, two, three, and I not equal J, okay, the atom I just say, okay. How about the interaction? For AB, A cross B. Not the, not just a simple average. Okay. Can you run? Can you come here to run the data? You just, I just show you last week. She bothered me too much. I asked her to pay me tuition. <laughs> I asked her who is your advisor. You should ask your advisor. So I'm going to analyze the these three hypotheses. Yeah, great. Do we throw it? Okay, because most of them, they, maybe they, they don't understand. Can you explain? Well, I can just explain that why we are using two-way ANOVA. Yeah. Um, why we have to use two-way ANOVA? Because our data is a quantitative data. So once you are comparing two quantitative values, you need to include two-way ANOVA. And we assume the variance of the data is equal to out. That's why we have to use um, two-way ANOVA. That's all I know. <laughs> I'm learning with you guys, as well. OK, then, long it. This one is dependent variable. You should have put your dependent variable in this icon. And then we have two independent variables. <coughs> And the, the model, okay, can you? The model is we have a four factorial, and sometimes we, because the model is, they are, the model is too complicated. For example, if you have A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, there are four factors, and the, the combination for each, some of these are zero observation. There is no way you can get the, this result. So you need to specify the model, okay, by yourself. And uh, for example, custom, can you click the custom? So, okay, build your term, okay, so click here. Hold on, hold on there. We have a main effect, like this one, A and B. We have a two-way interaction, like A cross T. We, maybe if we have a factor C, we, then we have a, how many two-way interaction we have, if we have A, B, C. Three. 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 A, B, A, C, B, C. If we have a four-way interaction, four independent variables, how many two-way interactions we have? A, B, C, D? A, B, A, C, A, C, A, D, B, C, B, B, C, B, D, C, D, six. Okay, so the model can be very complicated. You can up to four-way. You can define your model, okay? In your undergraduate, you never able to study all this because no professor will teach you because it's too complicated and case by case. Okay, now since our model is quite simple, we know we are sure we have an observation for each cell or each condition. So we run the four factorials. Can you continue then go back? Okay, we have so many options here. Okay, what else I going to do? Okay, I will run the program first. Okay, run the program first. I don't do, I won't do the post hoc case. Post hoc case is when the interaction is not significant. When it's not significant, we will see whether the difference between low and the median are the same, or low and the difference between low and the high are the same. Okay, but at the beginning, you just run the full model. See the rough, okay, the result. Okay, just type, type, okay. Then, you, how, how long will take? Just, this, just one minute, you will get the output. This is what I write, okay. We have a working position 60 for inside, 
60 for outside, I just write, I just erase it. Okay. Yeah, 60, 60. And the uh, low, yeah, 40, 40, 40. Okay. And this is it's two way okay. Move this. Move. Okay, this is the two way number. First we pay our attention on the interaction. The interaction. Is it significant? Is this in, how can you tell? Okay, the p value is when you read the journal paper. Okay, we have a one star standard for p less than okay zero zero five. Two stars standard p less than one one percent. Okay, zero point zero one. Three star p less than zero point zero zero one. Okay. So it's very it's zero. It's zero. So the interaction between position and experience is significant. So in this case you don't need to go back to see the possible case for experiments. There are three and the degree of freedom is two. So this means we have three level. We are not interested in the difference between L M and L H or M and H. We don't we are we don't care about it because the interaction is significant. In this case, the interaction is significant. So what are you going to do? Okay, long it again. Long it again. Journal linear model univariate. And uh, choose the crop, crop. Okay. What are you going to do? Can you do it the other way? The other way. So you have two options, okay. How many labels for position? Two. If you put position in the horizontal, and then you put the experiments, there are three in separate. So the output will look different, okay. And continue. Just look at the output graph. Okay, just look at, can you click here? Just click here. Yeah, this one. So it will jump to here immediately, okay. So this is the first time she used. Did you think that this part is easier for you to visualize? Or how about the next one? Which one is easier for you to compare? The first one or second? Second one. <coughs> Can you tell me? Which one you think is easier for people to visualize? Mm -hmm. This one? Why? No, I'd say I need to see the next one. The first one. What's the definition for interaction? What's the definition for interaction? Already oh, really? uh, took a st statistic in the undergraduate program. What's the definition for interaction? Uh, I, I tell you what, okay. Our choice is always pick up which prefers smaller number of line on this diagram. Okay. Because there are too many lines, there are four, four different colors. Can we go to the second one? So there are only two lines. This is easier for you to visualize or com compare. The definition for the interaction for this working experiments and the working position, if the difference between, if we move from one level of one particular factor, and the difference between the other second, the other variable, okay, the different label. If the difference is the same, we don't. We say there are no significant difference between these two two factors. But you can see how much money the difference between the outside and the inside. How much annual salary? 
for the low experiments, 10,000 US dollars per year. When you move to the medium experiments, for those people, they have six to 10 years working experiments. What's the difference between outside and inside? Probably 25,000 US dollars. Are they the same? No. What does, does that tell you? Now, if you work as a salesman, work outside, and the, the more experience you have, you make more money compared with those people working inside. But when you have a just, you just get in this com company, the experience is the medium, the experience is low, the difference is not much. <coughs> Tell you a story, okay? There are a lot of professors in this school. They've been here for 20 years, but they are still a system professor. What happened to them? They're working on experience on site. No? <laughs> in this case, you will be the professor in the future. In this case, what's the independent labor for a for professor? The labor of your school, top university in the world, and the, the labor of working hard. You know, a lot of people, they just don't want to research, they just prefer teach. They just prefer teach. They don't spend time for it, research. So my hypothesis say, we are a different naval school. They will get promotion. The result will be your salary. Okay. Okay. As a full professor, okay, you, you make more money. As a associate professor, you make make need 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 income. So when you are and the, the other guy, he just promoted as a professor. Mm, maybe their salary is not much, but uh, they, if they move to next 10 years, the difference is getting bigger. Okay, but how come this comes coming down? The difference between outside and inside those people, they work in the company. The difference when they, their experience is hard, okay, maybe more than 10 years. The difference between these two guys is just 20, 20, 20, 20 something in stuff. In the past, that's what I mean in the real world. If you are a joint manager, you see what's going on for those people. If you if, if, if tell people, can okay, you come, new employee, show them the picture. If you are a newcomer, which kind of, what, where you work inside or outside? Why? Okay. Okay, then if you are a general manager, you can see, oh, for those outside, work outside, as a salesman, how come for those guys, they, they are getting tired? Their service just, because their service depends on their performance. So if what are you going to do to stimulate those guys, working harder, make, the this difference between inside and outside will get higher. If there's no difference, the, the picture will be like this one. There is no interaction between these two factors, okay? Can you answer my question? What's the definition for interaction? What's the definition for interaction? You just said that there is no significance between the two factors. What's the definition for interaction? The definition for interaction between this variable and this variable. The definition for interaction. In this case, they have a, they are significant. The interaction is significant. But what's the definition? If they, the result look like they are parallel, okay? No, the difference is the same. There is no interaction, okay? But in this case, you can see the interaction between and. Uh, can you go on again? Analyze. <coughs> General linear model, univariate. Okay, I'd like to show the, the, the data. Option. Option. Show the interaction. We don't care about a different table, okay? We just show. No, no, no. The, the 
Position and experience. Thank you. 